In an effort to update and add some functionality to the GX470, I'm going to be removing these factory fog lamps and replacing them with some light pods that Caitlin picked out from Amazon. Well, another beautiful day. I'm going to try to get these fog lamps pulled out and figure out some way of mounting up. I'm guessing we can make that fit in there. 10 millimeter socket. Oh yeah, see in that dark void up there? Yeah, the nut's up there. There's the nut, 10 mil. It just fell down my sleeve. Come on, you. There it is. Well, I hope you saw that. And then there's a, another black plastic clip up here. Pinch it, to get, whoa, pinch it together and it shoots out the front. One bolt, one clip. All right, let's look at what we got. So that's the space we got to work with. Huh. I'm gonna have to think about this. It might be too wide. This doesn't seem to be working out the way I hoped. Do you cut more? Do you? Do you? Do you? Yes, you do. They cut. There's no going back now. Perfect fit. See? You guys were worried it wasn't going to look good, but. Oh, wait, sorry. At this point, I might as well be in the driveway in the wet. Just rip my jacket. Oh, cabinet screw. Have to do that on the other side. Much easier once you take the screw out. Want to show the people what I did to get your car in drivable condition for tomorrow? <laughs> This is my husband's idea of a joke, I'm pretty sure. And I'm going back inside. Oh, remember those? So you need a light. Give me a light. It's a bright idea. I'm sorry you had to hear that. Ooh, look at that, that's pretty. So this could be a bad idea, but as always, Kevin's making my dreams come true. One turn of a bolt at a time. <laughs> I mean, whatever, it's your car, so. If it falls off, it's like, I don't know her. Who is she? Kesha. That's Kesha? Mm, maybe. <laughs> no, not. I like Kesha, but that's not Kesha. Are you sick? I don't think so. I thought it was Kesha. Oh. Dev, like a blizzard. When we drink, we do it right. Get it? Cheers. <laughs> These are some nice wheels, see? There's... Do, I don't, what's wrong with our wheels? No, we're fine. You'll see, we've got big things coming to my GX with the wheels. Got a good deal on those. Yeah, factory takeoffs. How's it work? <laughs> Bumper though. It looks good, actually. Actually? It looks good. It looks good. I'm excited. We're getting the idea. It's in the ballpark. I need to move these light pods in. The lights are angled out too far to the outside of the vehicle, so we're gonna have to move these in board a little bit. I've got enough to just move this whole thing over to take that out, but I'm gonna have to come up with something on the bottom. I might be able to use this. Shazam! Perfect. I hope that's the right angle. It certainly stiffened up a bit. Well, that's what it's gonna be. So here's what we got. Not the prettiest thing. And now I'm gonna follow that up with some of this edge trim. because I want this piece to really be driven into the corner. 
and when I cut this, I'm gonna cut the piece long so it's actively pushing off of this flat. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna try and tie this into the factory wiring. So I pop this cap off the back of the stock fog lamp housing. And in there, it's got like a, a spade connector. This one here is very small, so I'm gonna have to cut that off and rewire it. But uh, the other one back here is full size, so you can just use a regular spade connector in there. These come with the light bars or the light pods that I got. So I'm gonna adapt these through this, and then all that should go into the factory wiring on the GX over there. Look at that beautiful bracket with really jagged corners. So right here is our factory wiring for our fog lamp. So this is off the fog lamp housing. Now that plugs in there. This should plug in here. And if that worked, the light should be on. Oh yeah. All right, well, we've got a waterproof connection here and a waterproof connection here. But now this is open to the elements. Despite the name, it says it's non-conductive. So this should keep moisture out as well as making sure that those plugs stay retained. Doesn't have to be pretty, should work. Hey buddy, did you see the new fog lights? Tell me what you think. Hey, wait. What do you got there, Aubrey? A thing. A thing? Can I see the thing? Socket wrench. Socket. And those are called scissors, little buddy. Wow. That's trash. Those go in the kitchen. Those are your mom's wipes, which... What? Oh, maybe she's going for help. Okay, guys, who, who wants hot dogs? Put everything down on the ground. And hey, put it down if you want hot dogs. Let's go. We're going in. We gotta get control over this. Aubrey! <laughs> That's good. Okay. Okay. I came out here an interesting feature with these lights. To cycle the different modes, you have to turn the switch off and then back on. So when we turn them off, they shut off normally, then when you turn them back on, they come on in the halo surround modes. Which is fine, that's normal. The problem comes when you're driving around like this, your high beams on, and you see that doggy out there, pretend that's another car, then you go to cut your high beams off, boom! But now your auxiliary lights turned on to their alternate mode, which are much brighter and don't have a great cutoff. So this is my fault because if I would have just had a standard light bar that didn't have this two modes, it would be fine. Or if I wired this to its own switch, it would stay on or off because you selected it. But this in between where it's a two mode light bar, but it's in on the factory switch and different lighting modes can activate and deactivate, it just gets complicated. So probably either replace these or go to an aftermarket switch panel like the aux beam that's on the f-150 so and if you're interested in seeing that switch panel eventually make its way into the gx make sure you hit the subscribe button we're heading back in so appreciate you all joining us Ugh. and we'll see you next time Haley's being a lovely subject here i got it okay now look at him Now, do you think I can get them back to cycle again? I don't know. Okay, we're back. Little bonus feature. Take my car back. It's a really nice way to treat our lawn.